uh, a fight coming up this Friday between, um, I'm pretty sure you know, a Philadelphia guy and Tevin Farmer. He's taking on a guy, Orlando Rizzo. Uh, what do you think about the upcoming fight between those two guys? Man, you know, I watched Tevin his last fight. Uh, I, I think I've seen a little bit of two shots and a little bit of Pernell Whitaker him. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen more two shots than him. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> but um, I kind of like the guy. I like the guy. I, I watched his last fight. I was I was really impressed with him. Mm -hmm. Um, he outboxed the guy. He used his speed, and he's one of those guys that that, that just have the whole package. That uh, one of those guys that's a southpaw that I would love to work with. Mm -hmm. Guy like that that has the whole package, and you know, not not that he already don't know the game, but teach him a little more tricks of the trade. Right. And uh, but I think this guy he, he showed me man that uh, you know he before the big a, a guy with a big punch. Mm -hmm. uh, he outboxed him. Y'all speed him, and you know it was a shutout fight. I liked that. Yeah, yeah. Ivan Reddick was a uh, guy he fought last, and he actually moved up to one thirty-five to fight this guy. And I believe the guy was—I I think he was undefeated, but I'm not too sure. But you know, he, every time I watch Tevin fight, it's almost like I'm watching uh, Floyd Mayweather, uh, Mark Tushup Johnson, and uh, Demarcus Chop Chop Corley. Every time but, I see. The, the main thing about those guys is that, and with boxing, Mike. Like, we have to make sure we try to make the right fight. We, you know, we, we got to try to make the right fight. Um, we got to try to get people in the, to get involved, to make the right fight. Um, boxing, we have, a, a degree, we have great athletes in the Washington, D.C. area, mm -hmm. and there's great athletes all around the whole United States. Mm -hmm. But as a boxing fan and a boxing guy, uh, we're not giving the fans the fights that they want to see. Mm. Um, and a lot of it is business. We know it is a business. Um, you have different promoters, different managers. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's a business. It's not about the titles anymore. Mm. Um, as you notice, they got more catch weights, more, more title fights than, than you can imagine. Mm. So, um, I think, you know, boxing has to figure out, these promoters have to figure out, uh, you know, how can we make the best fights? Uh, on TV or all TV, mm. and in Washington D.C., how can we make bring better fights here? And also the MGM brand, what they just building. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, um, a guy like Kevin, um, I like to see what's next for him. I'm, I'm very, um, I think he paid his dues. He's not like a guy like me who was shutting people out. Now they trying to look at him. Mm -hmm. But how long is it going to take before he can get a shot? But the right shot. Right. I think he campaigns it between, you know, 126 and 130. Is it kind of surprising to you that, you know, Tevin, I think his record is 22 and 4. Is it kind of surprising by the way he fights, the way he's, you know, able to dodge punches and, you know, counter punch back? As, you know, he has. I think he's still, I think he's still a young guy. Um, I think he's going to have a lot of wear and tear on his body. I think um, for whatever reason, the fight that he lost, I think now he's been rejuvenated. Um, he, he got a, uh, a big win on TV. A lot of people starting to know him now. And that only boosts more and more of his confidence. Mm. And, and, and that's going to make him be a force to be reckoned with and to be a person uh, that, that everybody want to see now. I mean, even that fighting at 30, at 35, even at 30, you got a lot of guys. I mean, you got, I mean, you got the Lomachenko, you mm -hmm. got Gary Russell, you mm -hmm. got Santa Cruz. I mean, you got tons and tons of fights. Mm -hmm. that, fights out there that he can make if the risk is the reward.